Hi, I'm Karen from Cafe Bebe, and I've got a rant. I am uh, very nearly 15 weeks pregnant, and I am fed up to here with the NHS. Um, and maybe it's not the NHS, maybe it's just this part of Lincolnshire, Cambridgeshire County that is doing my head in. Um, on Friday, I was notified by a friend of mine that her child had slap cheek virus. And um, it, it shouldn't be a big deal, but if um, that infected child has been around any pregnant women that are between sort of 14 to 20 weeks, there can be a risk to the unborn child. So um, she needed to inform me about it so I could take the necessary steps to make sure that I have already had slap cheek virus or if I haven't, that the baby isn't at risk. Um, I didn't freak out immediately about it, but then I went and read on the internet and I found out that it actually is not just something sort of to pass off. It is actually quite serious, although there are small percentages of women who end up with uh, risk to the unborn child, the risk is still there. I have no idea if I've had slap cheek virus or fifth's disease, which is what it's also called, in my life. I probably have at some point because I've had all the childhood diseases. I've worked with plenty of germy children, so I probably have picked it up at some point along the way. However, I don't know that for certain, and um, the, there are increased risks for miscarriage. Um, worst case scenario is that potentially, um, if there is something quite seriously wrong with the baby, then I might have to have um, fetal um, blood transfusions. Uh, so it's just all really unsettling. So I was advised that I needed to ring the midwife. Well, I rang the midwife on Friday. Midwives weren't in. I don't know where, you know, maybe they were having tea or maybe they were out on their visits. But regardless, they weren't there. So the community clerk advised me to ring the hospital maternity unit. So I rang the hospital maternity unit. They advised me that I needed to get a blood test as soon as possible um, to then rule out whether or not I had had the immunities or antibodies for slap cheek virus. So I rang my local surgery with the most unpleasant receptionist that has ever been known to man, practically. Um, did manage to get an appointment for a blood test. However, the blood test was not going to be until Monday because um, if they take bloods on Friday, they don't get sent until Monday, so the bloods would actually be no good. So, I've got to wait till Monday, which was yesterday, to have this blood test and then wait another 7 to 10 days for the results to come back to find out whether, in fact, I do have the antibodies for slap cheek virus, whether my unborn baby is at risk, and if so, then I would need to be seen by my GP and then forwarded on for treatment with a consultant. The wheels of urgency don't seem to be spinning very quickly here, and I find it really unsettling. The other bit that's unsettling to me, as my voice goes up, is the fact that nobody seemed to offer any care, concern, um, urgency themselves, or any real knowledge about what sort of risk I was at, what sort of things I might notice if, if something was wrong, and um, I'm, I'm pissed off about that. I went to have my blood test yesterday, um, the nurse jabbed me wrong to begin with, and then finally got it in, and then she said to me, so what have you read on the internet? I don't really know anything about slap cheek virus and the risk to the unborn baby. So I had to tell her about what I had read on the NHS site, and there's a, a slap cheek virus um, website as well, so I had to tell her what, what I knew about it, which is ridiculous. So, I'm in the process of waiting now to find out if, if in fact, my baby is at risk for slap cheek virus. Um, I rang the midwife yesterday to try to get some more reassurance or advice or whatever. Uh, unfortunately, I had to leave a message, and because it wasn't an emergency, it wasn't, um, I said, no, it's not an emergency. They didn't ring me back. So, I, I left a message with them. They didn't ring me back. Thanks ever so much. They did ring this morning, however, and I did finally get to speak to the midwife, and she basically told me that, you know, the risks are very, very minimal. But again, she knew virtually nothing about the treatment or, or further investigation about slap cheek virus. She was looking on the internet and reading to me over the phone. Hello, I can do that myself, and well, I have already. I also found out at that time, because I asked... 
um, about being referred to a consultant. Because of my age, and, and I guess basically just because of my age, I've been referred to a consultant for um, basically signing off that I'm okay to carry on with the rest of my pregnancy. Um, but also to talk about delivery methods. Um, and so when I had my booking in appointment uh, eight weeks ago, approximately, with the midwives, they said they would be referring me to a consultant. What happens here in the UK is you receive a letter through the post at some point telling you so many days or weeks in the future, here's your appointment with the consultant. You have no choice in when it is or what time or anything. They just give you an appointment and it's your job to make yourself available. Thankfully, as a work-at-home mom, I can do that. But anyway, I haven't, I haven't received any letters through the post from the consultant. And here I am now nearly 15 weeks pregnant and without any uh, information coming from the consultant. So I asked the midwife today, should I have heard from them by now? And she said, oh, uh, let me give you the number of the antenatal clinic in Peterborough and you, could you ring them and follow up on it? So I have to then ring another person and speak to, I don't know, three different people that I spoke to, receptionists, to then find out that in fact the referral forms have never gone through from my midwives. So basically them saying, yes, we're going to refer you to a consultant because of the risk factors for your pregnancy, nothing ever happened from that point. So had I not inquired about it, I would still be nowhere. There's nothing in the system that shows that I've been referred to a consultant. So I had to take it upon myself to then make an appointment, which is in three weeks, with the consultant. That should have happened three weeks ago when I had my dating scan and nuchal fold scan. Um, so I am royally pissed off with my local NHS at this moment, and I would like to know if anyone would like to give me £12,000 so I can go private to have the care that I deserve for, for my pregnancy, because <laughs> my blood pressure is sky high at this moment, and I really hate to slag off the NHS because there is no other option, but my local NHS is really dropping the ball here, and I don't think it's fair. So there's my rant from Cafe Baby this week. A pregnancy rant. Don't mess with a pregnant woman. Thank you.